Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Like and subscribe. First of all, today I'm going to be installing a new muffler bracket. That's what I said my next video would be about. It's this bracket down here. It snapped snapped off. I'll get a closer image in a second. Snapped off uh, because of the vibrations of the motor. So I got a new piece of metal as you can see here. It's a uh, flat bar, one and a sixteenth of an inch thickness. Got it from the Home Depot. So that's what I'm going to use. See, it's pretty thin for my new muffler bracket. So hope you guys like the video and stay tuned. Alrighty, we're back on air. Let's see if I get her a little bit closer and adjust it. Well, I'll zoom it in for right now, but right there's the bracket, right there. What shall be taking off? Just gotta grab the right set of tools. Oh, I'm guessing it's about a half inch. Nope, that is not a half inch, that's pretty small. This and bend it down like so. It actually might be metric. Try a 10 millimeter, I'm guessing. Yep, 10 millimeter. Okay. So, first is to take the old bolt Metal boat, as you can see, the broken piece of it, and old broken piece you can see it that's the old piece and now to shape this new piece so I'll zoom the camera out for you so you can see it better adjust it a little bit actually bring the camera closer Alright, nice hole in my chain guard. So we'll shape her up. See how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna grab a adjustable wrench quick. Okay, I'm back. Got my adjustable wrenches. use these wrenches so I can just clamp onto here and bend them, bend the metal. There. There we go. Okay, we'll use the side without the sticker. And for 
first you just have to bend it right about here. So I put one wrench here. And I just bend it up like that. Let's see. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Bend it a little bit more just by hand. I'll probably right here. Right here. You just kind of twist it like so. See how I twisted it? Nice twist of an angle. And yeah, perfect. Let's even twist it a little bit more. There. And now I'm going to have to trim it. So I'll go ahead, I'll be right back, I need to trim this. Short. All right, it cut pretty easy, as you can see. I used some tin snips to trim it. It's not very thick metal. It's aluminum, so it cut pretty slick. Yeah. I think like right about here, I'll bend it inward. I was kind of looking to go this way with it though. Let's grab my nice uni tool. Just like twist it. Let's see. Take this. Let's see. Do a little more bending. I think this will be pretty much good. There. Alright, so right here. Just need to bend it in a little bit. And bend it back out a little bit. See how accurate my bend was, not very accurate. And I just did that bend with my hands, ta -da. And we got a wonderful bend. Would you look at that? Awesome. I was gonna tweak this bottom bracket piece a little bit. There. And I think that should be magnificent. Magnificent it is. All right. So, now we just gotta put this bracket into place. Let's see, how do I want to do this? Like that, like that. There. And there. Yeah, I kind of 
of screwed it up. There. So, hole there. I don't want it touching the bike frame though. That's the problem. Let's see if I can bend it away. Yeah, like that, and then just bend this towards it. Like so. There. Much better, much better. So I put the hole like right there. Yeah, put a hole right there. So I just need to go and grab a marker. And I can get to work. It's kind of looking funny now. Since I did all this bending and twisting. Ah. There. Alright, let's see if it's uh, good. We're good to go. It looks pretty good. I'm pretty sure we're good to go. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab a marker and I'll be right back. You can see how nice it's bent up. A lot of bending from that. Alright, I'm back. Should have some music playing in the background. The boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. Okay, so that is going to be like that. Looks like I need to tweak my bend just a little bit. Just need to tweak it like that, I think. Let's see how well I did. I think I tweaked it a little bit too much. Excuse me. Mark it. Where are we going to put the hole? Right there. <laughs> and let's see. So right there's that hole. And then this hole. This one will be right here. Alright. I'll be back in a second. Just need to go drill the holes out. And we'll put her on. Okay, now we'll see how well we did on our drilling. There's one hole. The other hole's not so pretty, as you can see, it kind of bent it a little bit because the drill bit snagged it. Pain in the butt when that happens. Let's see if it screwed it up at all. Come on, slip on. You can do it. There, that bottom one's on. And we'll just put this bolt on. Well, tire hit the camera. Yeah, still, still on target. Okay. We'll put this bolt on. 
just to replace it. Get it placed. There. Just kind of. We can kind of tweak it easier. If you kind of know what I mean. There. I think that'll be good right there. It's going to bend this up a little. There. There. That looks good. Alright. I'm going to go grab a bolt and I can put her on. Okay, we're recording again, so I've got my bolts. Well, this is old chain, but here's my little assortment of bolts that I have left. Just dump them out here and pick out what I want to use. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see what fits in this hole. Oh, actually, I'm going to use this one. Coming on the back side. Let's see if this will go into that hole. fits right in that hole perfectly. So I just need a couple washers. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to need. There's a couple washers to put it on. Oh. Slide it in like that. I'll be back. I need to go grab some washers in this. Okay, I'm back. Let's adjust the cam up a little bit. Okay, got my assortment of washers. Flat and lock washer assortment. And I got my snips that I'm going to use. Well, it's actually my dad's, but don't tell anyone that. I'm going to go just snip it. Cleanly cut it off, trim the edges so it gets sharp edges. No one likes those sharp edges. Then we'll pick out some washers. Slide this off quickly. And pick out a few quick washers to slap on it. We'll just put like, we'll say uh, I'll put a four on, five, including the one that was on there. And now to wind her in the hole. This hole was here from the old muffler. It was a three bolted muffler, the factory muffler that was on here. So that works out pretty nice. Just use the same bolt hole. And like that. I have to go grab a screwdriver. Phillips head screwdriver first. And I can snug that up. But down here I forgot to put my washer on. Ooh, that baby's on there. I'm going to cheat and use the wrench there. Have a pretty good drip strength apparently. So here's a little lock washer, slap that back on with the nut.
some in there. There. That's on there pretty well. Pretty well enough, and then just need a screwdriver to Phillips. Okay, I'm back. Just need to. That's tight. That's the best angle I can get. That's what I'm gonna have to work with. Hmm. I wonder. Yeah, it's, the angle's no good. If I. Can just use this on this, and then just use a socket. I think I can do that. It'll work with me. See number two is what I'm using. I'm just grabbing a socket. Then we can put my plane into action. Awesome. There we go. I just slapped a number two screwdriver Phillips head into there. And oh my gosh. We might just be able to cut the corner there. Just grabs. Ah. There, good enough. Good enough, Mike. Oh, not touching anything. There. Well, there you have it. I got my new bracket on, Mike. Better than ever. And that's how I did it, folks. Put my bracket on. So you can see the upper one. Mounted to and then down underneath there is the bolt where you attach a bracket. Many of you might not know that's your muffler doesn't vibrate and break off the head bolts up here right off of the engine. So I'll clean up this mess and I will start her up and see how she runs. All right, here we go, folks. Test one run of who knows how many more to come. Just adjusting my camera stand. So we can get a better view of the bike. Okay. I'll bring her up front and start her up for you guys. Start her up. Let's go. And I'm breaking one of my rules, which is I always tuck in your laces, but I'm not going to tuck in my laces because you cannot tuck in your laces very well with these high top shoes. So if I die, I die. Oh well. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to survive. But if you notice that I'm not posting any more videos, you're going to know why. Because I'll be six feet under. All right, here it goes. Oh! There we go. Good to go, we'll give that a double thumbs up and give it a double like. I don't think you can do that though, because you'd just be unliking my video. All right. I should have actually did these too. Some of these. But 
Didn't have time to do that today. Ooh, she gets pretty warm pretty quick. All right, take a break and spin. Alright, yeah, I can see why that, uh, it broke off of the old mount because the muffler shakes so much when you go to take off. It's crazy, actually. So there she is, the new, uh, rack and mount. Very little clearance between it. I re-zip tied her up, got some new zip ties all along the handlebars and that too. So there she is, my new uh, new bracket. It's pretty sturdy. Yeah, it'll work though. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching this video. It was quite long, as you can tell. I only have a minute, a little over a minute left of recording on my camera for uh, how long you can take record a video on here. So that's uh, pretty funny. But we'll go ahead and uh, kill it. 56 seconds, 55, 54. And then I'll be all done recording. But I'm actually gonna stop a little bit before. But there she is, my new bracket. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's a great bike. You can purchase the same bike at bikeberry.com. Alright. Well, until my next video, I'll see you guys later. Leave a like. Make sure to click that subscribe button. And turn the bell on to all notifications. Thank you, I only got 15 seconds left. 16, oh, 15, 14, all right. Yep, that's, that's it for my seconds. Goodbye.